Hey guys, it's 3 the Starlight. Welcome back to more Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass. In the last episode, we entered the Temple of the Ocean King and got the map for the next area. In this episode, we're going to first start off by going back to Beetle's ship. Here we go. Let's go. Let's get grab that item we need, the wisdom gem. And there goes all but 17 of our rupees. And with that done, if we recall, a guy told us to Go check out uh, the at uh, the Cannon Island. Yeah, let me redo my route. Just gotta get a good distance, cause um, the the uh, the docking detector is kind of ooh whoa. Hey, see that weird thing that just surfaced? called a sea trap it and we're headed right for it we can't attack it so the only option is to make the ship jump over it tap the jump arrow on the screen's bottom to to jump but only at the right time okay here we go there we go it is this button right at the very bottom kind of hard to miss and I almost did I was like oh wait where, where's the jump button where's the jump button Anyways, welcome to Cannon Island. Let's go ahead and explore this place. Hey, nice to meet ya! And, and, and not like I don't want to greet want to greet ya, but I'm here to deliver your mail. Not to talk you off, yep, the boss man lives to, for a special delivery. And, and your name is Er got it Er isn't it Link? I'm sure you'll be able to get, carry special deliveries for you at some point, so I'd appreciate it if you shoot me with a slingshot. Oh, on that note, see you around. That was weird. Anyway, let's go, let's head in here and see about getting a cannon. Hello. Come to Edo's gar garage, that is Master Edo Edo's shop. I am Fuzzo, his apprentice. H and, oh, nice to meet you, Link. Huh? You want a cannon? Sorry, little guy, but we don't have any ready to sell, not yet. Master's working on one, though. He's withdrawn to his workshop. Yep, he's gone and locked himself in there until he's done concentrating. If you really, really want a cannon, then go speak with the master. You can go around the island to reach the back door. Dangerous, though. The back door is ne never locked, so that's your ticket to meet the master. And he's unlocked this door for us. So let's head on over and find Edo. Meanwhile, some enemies getting in our way. Yada yada. And here we have a new enemy. Bees. You want to avoid them as much as possible because they will hurt you regardless of if you try to hurt of whether or not you hurt them. And treasure map. We'll get into treasure maps later on. And ow. Oh, come on, I didn't do anything to you. Why are you stinging me? Ow! Okay, we're now in the cave. Let's kill some mice. We are the exterminators. Toss a bomb over there. These are bomb flowers, staple of Zelda. Grab another. They can go through fences, thankfully. Push this block. <clears throat> oh, didn't need that one. Hmm. I think I got an idea. Oh, that did work. Great. Move this block out of the way. Now let's move this block back, because don't want to 
have it be another obstacle for when I do my bomb run. Whoa! That rat was floating in the air for some reason. Alright. Oh, wait, there's another thing. There's a... Cracked wall right here. And behind it is a chest that contains... A power gem. Nice. <clears throat> okay, let's head on out of the cave. And we've got a ton of bomb flowers. And there should be a chest right over here. And inside that chest contains... Red Rupee. Hmm. Bomb that. Okay, let's see. Whoa. Stupid rats. Oh, got a cough coming. That was a big red rupee. 200 rupees. Gone. Gah! Okay, now that that episode is done. Go ahead and kill these ch red choo-choos. Mm. <clears throat> okay, let's... Son of a... Need to make sure my path is clear. Yeah, you'll want to carry a bomb all the way to that. Pick this up, jump down, run over. There we go. Uh, that sucked, man. 200 rupees gone. And, uh, and if I recall correctly, we need at least 50 rupees in order to get the cannon. So let's get killing. Okay, 50 rupees exactly. Now let's go get that cannon. <clears throat> Ooh, grass. Can I get some something from it? Okay, now I won't be completely broke once I get the cannon. Now let's head in the back door. There's Edo, and he's pretty injured. Yes, yes, I'm the owner of the shop. What do you want? What? You demand a cannon? Heh, <laughs> you impress me. You're, you'd brave this dangerous island for one of my cannons. For, this, for a sea shrimp, you've got a good eye. To know that my cannons are a work of explosive art crafted from choice parts. So you better believe that you'd cough up big rupees for one. Have the guests here how much? Yes, I do. Ready? I'll say it. Get ready, because I'm seriously going to say it. Got a steep price of 50 rupees. You big enough to pony up whole 50 old rupees? Yes, I can pay that. What? Where'd you get 50 rubies? Doesn't matter. I guess I'll just... Just as long as you cough up the cash, I'll take it. And we get a cannon. Sweet. N next, I'm going to devise a sal salvage arm that can pull treasure from the seafloor. The salvage arm is going to be very useful. The, um, the treasure map we just got is... Um, has treasure that we can only obtain with the... The salvage arm. Special delivery! Watch out! Incoming! This is the letter from the postmaster to you, Link. Ahem. Here's what it says. To Link. If you're getting this, I guess that means my new postman is working out so far. So I'd like to make an, an unusual request. He's, a, he's as good as a new hire gets. He's as diligent as, 
and efficient as they come. I've got no complaints, so I, I want to keep it that way. So be nice to the postman. He really is a good kid. From the postmaster. That's right. He is a, he is new, so that makes him a new um, real Amer American hero. And that's it. Wow, kind of embarrassing. Not like I wrote it, but it was odd to read out loud. Anyway, sign here. There we go. And yes, I know I, I uh, did the L wrong, but whatever. Let's go tuck the line back. Yes, let's set sail. He said that we need to head north, so let's head north. And we're off. Now we have a big cannon. I better show how you how to handle that thing. Just tap anything you see, and the cannon fires at it. Have a blast with the kid. No pun intended. You can even shoot the seagulls, which is pretty mildly cruel, but whatever. <laughs> it's I just find, found it kind of funny how you can shoot uh, targets so, so small. And he's sighted, and he's down. And we get rubies from that. Nice. And I see a cyclone. Let's be sure to avoid it. No, no. Go away. Go away. I can go around it. Easy. Ah, uh, no! Ah, uh, what was that? Man, it looks like we can't he head up north that way. At least for the time being. We better try another route. What a pain. Uh, yeah, what a pain indeed. Ah, uh, dang it. Okay, let's head up this way. And we got another sea trap. Ooh, that was... Timed it almost a little too early. And we got some rocks that we can destroy with our cannon. And we sighted. Got more rupees. Okay, that's all the rocks. Now let's head up north. Enemy sighted. Huh, hang on a moment, Link. Look, c c could that be? It's the ghost ship! It has surfaced at last. The ghost ship. I can't believe that we're laying eyes on it. Let's follow it. Let's go. Let's go get our treasure. Come on, let me plot my path. Ah, dang it. There we go. There we go. After it. Come on, I can shoot it. Come on. Dang, it's just out of reach. Ah, crap. Fog. I can't see it. Huh? The fog is thickening. Be, be careful now, Link. This fog is bending. I can't even see my hand in front of my face. All right, the now we need to find a now we need to catch up to the ghost ship and fast. You want to be careful because there will be barrels that will explode if you hit them. Don't let it escape, Link. I see it. Go scuttle that blasted thing. I can't. My can my my cannon fire won't go, go. It keeps going right through it. The ghost ships still haven't caught up yet. Hurry up already, Link.
Hey there, wait, the ghost ship! Oh, whoa. Ouch, just a scratch, right? Keep us on course, Link. Come on, we can catch up to it. Ah, it just keeps keep, keeping ahead of us. Wow, this fog is really annoying, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Whoa! What the, the fog? This is ridiculous! What? What happened? We were checking along making headway there. But you, you, may, you think maybe, could this be the influence of the ghost ship? Now, what did I hear about that? Uh, oh yeah, it's always surrounded by infernal fog. And that fog le leads the ship leads sh ships horribly astray. I think it's best that we beat a hasty retreat, Link. Maybe someone on the other, on one of the nearby islands knows the way through this fog. Yeah, let's head back. Ow. I forget what those things are called. Alright, let's get out of this fog. And head to, down to the ship right down there. Maybe he knows something. Also, as you take damage, you'll notice that smoke starts to appear on the ship. And everything clears up. Thank you. Thank goodness. Frog. Enemy sighted. Got a heart. And we got many typhoons. These you can actually destroy. Just hit it with two times with a cannon. And sometimes you get a rupee. And we also got explosive barrels. Don't know why they're right here of all places. Okay, there's the ship. Ooh, red rupee, nice. Let's go board the ship. And we got monsters, kill them. Okay, once you kill them all, Talk to this guy. Play dead. Play dead. Go away. Away from me. How annoying. Hey. What? Uh. Oh, what? The bad guys left long ago? Yeah. Nothing works better than playing dead when bad guys are around. Hey, that sounds like a lineback tactic. See, I don't think we've met before. I'm a part of the... Maritime Defense Force. That's N Nyave. Yep, yep, I patrol these waters. I'm a peacekeeper. You're doing a wonderful job, by the way. Nice to meet you. Oh, oh, here's something for helping me out. Yes, you get a treasure. Are you happy? You're happy, right? <laughs> there isn't a person alive who isn't happy to get a present. Yeah, um, it, if you come if you come back here every um, day at every, uh, Every day, uh, you, um, he gives you a piece of treasure after you rescue him. Anyways, on the map you'll see th um, three rocks forming a triangle, and there is an island in between. Uh, line linebacker, aren't you gonna notice the island? There we go. 
Who knew that there was an uncharted island nearby? What a discovery. Let's explore it. And the island gets added to the map. Let's go ahead and dock. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Spirit Island. Special delivery! Watch out! Incoming! This is a letter from Astrid. Ahem. Ooh, I can't wait. Good tidings to you, Link. Thank you for your most recent help. I try, at, try as I might to express my gratitude in words, and I cannot do it justice. If there's anything that I can do in return, please stop by the island of Ember. I know that somewhat of my modest me means I might have a little, might have little to offer, but I believe I can at least show you the way. That should you become lost, sincerely, Astrid. And that's the end of it. Got all that sword? Then I'm out of here. Anyways, let's explore this island a bit. We got a ton of grass that we can mine for. Uh, to, that we can mine for rupees. Got some monsters, and we got a treasure chest. What's in it? A courage gem. This is the third. This is the. What? This is the third of, of three types of uh, of gems. And let's open this door. Link, I am the servant of the goddess of spirits that dwells in the spring. I have been waiting your arrival. The spirits that travel with, with you have not recovered their true strength. To restore their power, you must find spirit gems scattered around the world. Then you must bring them here. Collect these, and the spirits will recover their true power. They will be of even greater assistance to you in your quest. Which spirit gems do you want to present? Uh, let's try power. So far you have collected three power gems. You must find seven more spirit gems before your spirit regains its power. There are 20 spirit gems of each, and you have to collect ten of each before you can upgrade their power. Anyway, let's talk to Linebeck. Head on out. And now let's head to the last island on our destination. This one. This is the island that we'll find our answers on. Welcome to Mo Molidia, I Molida Island. We can't navigate through the fog, so what are we supposed to do? We can't get get the crest to location on the chart unless we pass through the fog. So what do you say we do? Do we do you want to ship out? No, let's investigate this island and see if we can find some clues. Which we're going to do in the next episode, alright guys? Next time on Legends of the Phantom Hourglass, we're going to search this island for clues to, to help us at, um, get to the crust. Whew. See you guys later.